Um, so I was thinking this morning as, you know, I have my routine every morning and I, I get up, I do my meditation right away and I do my own card reading. And as I sit down to pull those cards, I notice every day my emotions are different, which I'm sure you all are feeling the same thing. Sometimes you're, you know, you know, as these days are going on and, you know, we're sort of stuck in the routines that we're now in, whether it's, you know, whether you have your family at home or a significant other, or you're like me and you're home alone, you have these, you know, these emotions that happen every day. And I notice, you know, there's days where I go to um, do my card reading where I'm humming and happy and, and, you know, I can pray in tongues. So I'd be, you know, could sing in tongues and whatever and doing, getting all, you know, happy and ready for my card reading. And then there's some days like today, uh, well, yesterday, Saturday, I was a little bit more, I was a little weepy, like I had tears in my eyes. And this morning I was kind of apathetic. And I thought feelings that are happening. And what I noticed was physically, I feel great because I have been taking care of my body. <clears throat> And so I've been sleeping. So the only, I'm not drinking any alcohol while we're on lockdown because this is a depressing situation. This is my, for me, I'm not saying that, that you can't drink or that you shouldn't drink. For me, it's a depressing situation enough that if I, you know, drink and then get up and not feel good the next morning and not be productive or you know, get some work done or do some good things for myself because I'm, I don't feel good. That would make me more depressed. So that's the reason why I'm not drinking. And I just want to feel my best. So I've noticed that my, although my emotions are fluctuating, physically, I am feeling really great. Like I feel amazing. And the only time I don't feel my best is if I don't have a, a really great night's sleep, but for the most part, I'm sleeping great. Um, so anyway, my whole point in all this is we have these emotions that do not have to drive the bus, okay? They need to be at the back of the bus because you want to feel good and do these things that make you feel good so that you can overcome the negative emotions that you're feeling right now. Because you, you know, we have, this is a situation that none of us have lived through. Nobody, you, you know, it's very different. And even if we have older folks out there that live through the depression or um, and through the various wars, this is very different from all of it. Although it is similar in the sense that, that we're all going through the same thing. This is, this is very different from anything that we've ever dealt with. And there's a lot of information. People are overloading on information. They're, maybe they're not listening to the information or they're not, whatever it is that's going on in your world. This is, we're all dealing with the same issue globally. How's that? I mean, it's not just in America, right? So 9-11, it was the worst for Americans. And I know the world was sad for us, but it was, if they were, whoever was sad for us, but it was terrible, right? Awful, the worst. But this that we're dealing with right now, we share, we're sharing with our brethren across, around the world, globe, everybody. So how do we work through the emotions, the ups and downs? How do we sort of make it through however we feel one day to the next? 
Number one, like I just said, feel physically good. Take care of your body. Sleep, eat well, um, exercise, whether it, however that is, if you can do, you know, do some exercising in your house or move, go up and down the stairs, go outside, take a walk, you know, with your distancing and all of that, if you have to wear a mask, whatever. Take care of your body so that you feel physically good. And, and I'm going to read some of these, um, the, some of these, uh, messages that I'm, I'm, I'm receiving right now in a minute, but you want to do that. I want to get my point across because you know me, I have to have my, have my say, but something else that's going on here. And I've been talking about this all the time, coming out a butterfly instead coming out of this cocoon, a butterfly, as opposed to the same old caterpillar. How do you do that with these fluctuating emotions? when you don't feel like it when number one taking care of your body because if you take care of your body you will have the strength to to overcome the emotions you will have the fortitude um you know take it there's an acronym it's called hot halts hungry angry lonely tired sick or stressed it's very difficult to make good decisions when you're hungry, angry, lonely, tired, sick, or stressed. So taking care of your body helps you with all with a lot of those. The other thing is, is your desire to be a better person at the end of this, your desire to be the best you can be, your desire to live a happy, balanced life that is purpose driven and aligned and it's really happy and I don't mean happy in the emotions I mean content because I can tell you right now I didn't I was very apathetic when I sat down this morning to read my cards but I'm very content across the board I'm happy I'm good you know I'm good but you know, the other day I was weepy. The other day I was singing. The other day I was, you know, I, I was mad. You know, I'm having, you know, my emotions are like everybody else's all over the place. But my desire to come out of this better than when I went in is huge. I want to be a different person. I want to be better. I want to, I want to have, um, served all of you. I want to have taken care of myself. I have want to um, at least get the point across that I do love all of you out there and I and I care and I want you all to feel good. So that's my desire is bigger than my laziness, my anger, my fear, my depression, my loneliness. If I'm, you know, I'm lonely, I'm here in my house. It's bigger than all of that. And your desire to be a better person, but not a better person because, you know, you want an award, but a better person so that you can live your best life and live and, and operate in your gifts, aligned to the, your purpose, aligned to your inner being, your purpose, and living that purpose-driven uh, life so that it is the most fulfilling for you. And when it is, when your life is the best life for you and the most fulfilling for you, everybody around you benefits. This isn't selfish, people. This is not selfish. This is about doing what's best for you. Your emotions are going to fluctuate. And we're probably at least three more weeks like this, I think. I think May 1. That's, you know, I think May 1. But that's just a my, maybe it's going to be, you know, I don't, I don't think it can be longer than that. I don't know how anyone could deal with it being longer than that, really. But I think May 1. It may be sooner, 
with the help of God and the universe. And if everybody changes their thought process and starts to think healing thoughts, then maybe we can move forward. But you're going to have a whole range of emotions every day, you know, one day at a time. That old saying, sometimes it's 15 minutes at a time. Sometimes it's 30 minutes. Sometimes it's an hour. Maybe you'll have a whole morning that you're feeling good. And then it just hits. Or maybe you're waking up because you, you know, you had a bad dream and you have, you know, whatever it is and you feel bad. It's, it's really the hardest to get out of it first thing in the morning. So try to feel good physically. Feel good physically so that you have the strength to move through these emotions. And really, if you want to make real changes, your desire has got to be bigger. Your desire to be happier, better, aligned, purpose-driven has got to be bigger than every other emotion. Attachment, what other people think, what other people are saying, all of that. Your desire has got to be bigger than it. So um, oh, so you're you're so um, Jesus from DC is saying July to September, maybe. Um, and he says, I call it corona anxiety, everything from financial worries, worrying about people not so st social distancing, worried. A runner I passed on the trail, it, it gets it gets a little crazy. You get a little neurotic, right? You know, you're wiping everything down, it's crazy. So, um, you know, I just think that you do the best that you can in this situation, the best that you can, okay? And, you know, clean what you can, you know, whatever, and then, you can't worry because the worry is going to lower your immune system. Remember, I talked about that uh, the other day. The the low the lower frequency vibes, you know, the vibrations of the lower emo the emotions, anger, depression, shame, guilt, worry. They're all lower vibe uh, vibration um, vibrational emotions and which lowers your immunity. You need to be at high vibe. That's why feeling physically good is important here so that you can vibrate. Your energy is at a higher vibration than the virus. And you're going to say to yourself every day, I vibrate at a higher frequency than any illness. Say it every day, every day. So feeling physically good, having the desire to, to be the best that you can be in the end. Now, I want to pull a grace card for you. Let me put on my glasses because I'm, <laughs> can't see. I'm just pulling it right, uh, I'm going to show you. I'm pulling it right out of the middle here. Let's see what we have here. Beauty. Surround yourself with simple pleasures. Beauty is the language of the divine. See, it's saying beauty, it's simple pleasures, right? So that's trying to feel good because right now it's probably very difficult to do anything that's more than simple in your house. So take care, take care of yourself and do those things that are good for you because they will be good for the people around you, beauty. And you know, you'll feel beautiful when, when you take care of yourself. That's the truth. You'll, you'll feel better about yourself and you'll feel, be you'll feel beautiful when you take care of your body, when you take care of yourself physically. And it's gonna help you with your emotions, I promise. And then take, take note of how badly you want to be better, how badly you want your life to improve and to be better when we come out of all this. So 
that's what I have for you today. So I hope everybody's good. Please. Oh, I wanted to sit and make note. So I'm wearing my Kelly's roast beef t-shirt because nothing says summer, beach, and fun more than Kelly's roast beef on Rivia Beach. So you, if you're from Boston, you know what I'm talking about. So I wanted to make everybody feel good and say, oh my God, Kelly's, right? So um, you're welcome. I get my friends on Instagram thanking me. You're welcome. So that's it. If you need me, you, the links are in the description of this video. If you're on Instagram, message me and, uh, and we can get you on a call. So that's it. Take a risk. Be, be vulnerable. Share your heart and love always. Know I love you all. Wishing you love, balance, and peace. Ciao, ciao, baby. Love you.